The most effective way to cut acrylic and make incredible pieces that you can sell is with the X-Tool P2. So let's make some acrylic pieces and talk about this machine. Hey there, I'm Sarah and you are watching Creative Ramblings. I have been talking about craft lasers for a couple of years on this channel. Today, our focus is on the P2. This is unlike any laser that I own and anything I've really talked about on this channel before. This is a CO2 laser. It is really powerful and it is amazing if you wanna work with acrylic. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make a couple of acrylic projects and we're gonna talk about how this machine might fit into your craft room. If you are new to laser crafting and you wanna learn what else is out there, be sure to take a look at the links in the description. I go over all kinds of different lasers that you can use in your craft room. So let's talk about the X-Tool P2. This is a big laser. It is a CO2 laser and it is very powerful at 55 watts. That power allows you to cut and engrave effortlessly through all kinds of materials and quickly as well. The machine comes with dual cameras, which is something that I really like. When you place your material inside of the machine and close the lid, it has two cameras that help you put your design exactly where you want it on your material. This laser runs off XCS software. So if you've ever used an X-Tool laser, it is the same software, incredibly easy to use and constantly being updated. The laser comes with autofocus, which is another great feature for most enclosed lasers. And it has the ability to engrave on curved surfaces as well. There are a lot of expansion possibilities with the P2. So you can add a rotary tool to it. You can add a honeycomb base in there. You can even add a pass-through slot allowing you to create much larger pieces. When this laser comes to you, it's gonna look almost exactly like this. Setup is pretty minimal. There's gonna be a manual that comes with it. And when I set mine up, I watched the video in full and then I was able to do it on my own with no hiccups. You can be up and running really quickly with this laser. So as someone who has used diode lasers for years, I know that there are some limitations in those machines. I love their simplicity and their price. However, it is difficult to cut acrylic with a diode laser. There's always workarounds you can do to cut and engrave certain materials with a diode, but it's a lot of time and effort and you don't always get great results. So on a diode laser, you can only cut opaque acrylic and you have to stay away from blues and whites because of the type of laser it is. It just doesn't go through those types of acrylic. So nothing clear, nothing translucent. This CO2 laser can cut through any type of acrylic. So any color, clear, translucent, patterned, glitter, anything like that. And there's no alterations you need to do to the material. You just put it in the machine and it cuts. So if you are looking to make acrylic projects or you have a niche in your small business that would really benefit from acrylic pieces, this may be the right laser for you. So we're gonna make a couple projects. Both of these designs I got from Creative Fabrica. You can find a link down in the description to those. The first design is a pair of earrings, very similar to the ones that I'm wearing. And we are just gonna import the design into XCS and we are gonna cut it out. The second project, I am gonna show you how to take a pre-made design and then use the XCS software to edit it and really make it your own. These earrings are made using red translucent acrylic that is about three millimeters thick. It comes with a paper coating to it, so I'm just gonna leave that on, place it in my machine. Over in XCS, I'm going to refresh my camera and a picture of that acrylic is going to come up. So now I'm gonna import the file. This is an SVG of Valentine earrings. You can find the link down in the description. I'm gonna place it where I want it on the acrylic, make sure it's the right size, then duplicate it so I have two of them. Now there are two cameras on the P2, so I can go into that close view and really make sure that I have precise placement of my graphics. Now I wanna pick the material, the transparent acrylic, 
Then I'm gonna click Auto Measure. This helps everything focus, so I'm gonna get the perfect cut. Now let's create some cut settings. These are the recommended settings. After testing, I found that a power of 80 and a speed of 20 work really well. I highly encourage you to do some test cuts of your own and just assume that you're gonna make a few mistakes before you get that perfect power and speed combination. When everything is set to go, I can hit process. Once I hit start here, I can hit the button on the machine and it's gonna to go to work. I like to remove masking from acrylic using a really strong Gorilla Tape like this one. You just place a piece of tape over the masking and it's going to pull it all off for you. You could use a tweezers or a pick of some kind, but you run the risk of scratching the acrylic, so I love using this method. Then we're just going to add some basic jewelry findings and turn these acrylic pieces into earrings. This next project is a layered plant stake. We are starting with pastel gray acrylic. This comes with a plastic coating over the top. We wanna to remove that plastic. We don't want that in our laser. So over in XCS, I'm gonna hide the background here. This is just a nice little trick if you want to work with that white background versus your material. I'm gonna import this SVG from Creative Fabrica and it's three pieces. So I'm gonna size it down appropriately, but I wanna make sure I size them all together so that they all stay the same. Now we're gonna add some text. I'm gonna write the word mom, and I wanna choose a script font. You have all of these X tool fonts here, but then you have access to anything that is on your computer. I really like the Sophia font. You can get this from Creative Fabrica as well. Now I wanna connect all these letters by clicking weld. This is gonna cut out as one piece now and I want to attach it to this open heart that's gonna be on the top of my plant stake. So I'm just gonna line it up so that the edges of mom meet the edges of the heart and make sure they're touching. Once it's all lined up perfectly, I am going to select both the heart and the word, and I'm gonna come up here to combine and click unite. Now we have one solid piece that's going to cut out. Now we're making this into a plant stake, so I'm gonna add a rectangle to act as the stake that's gonna stick into the plant. I'm just gonna size it appropriately and line it up with this heart, select both of these, and then use the align tool to make sure it's centered. And then I'm gonna unite that as well so it cuts out as one piece. Now this patterned heart here, I'm gonna cut out of translucent red. These other two I'm going to cut out of gray. So to make it simple, I am going to add that heart to another layer. And then I'm gonna come over here and click ignore. So we are not working with that heart right now. So let's choose our material. This time we're using opaque acrylic. So I'm choosing the white acrylic right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and autofocus that. Now I can hit refresh, my camera's gonna come back on and I can place my pieces where I want them. You can use the wide focus camera. You can also use that close capture view to make sure everything lined up perfectly. Now we wanna choose our settings. Again, there's recommended settings and then there's the settings that you have tested and that you know work. 80-20 tends to work really well for me on this type of acrylic. Now this red heart down in the corner, it is set to ignore so it's not gonna cut, but you can also over here in the layers tab, just turn it off so you don't have to look at it. it just makes it a little less confusing. So once I have everything in place where I want it, I can just go ahead and hit process. Now this acrylic is unmasked. I find that cutting unmasked acrylic is just fine. If you were to engrave this, you might wanna add a masking to the top. You can buy a masking tape to put over the top. It just helps uh, get you a nice clean engraving. But we are only cutting for this project. So once it is cut out, I can pop these pieces out and look how cleanly that cut. These lines are beautiful. I have this really intricate word on here and it's gonna look so great. So now we can go back into XCS and cut out that red piece. So to do this, I am now going to ignore the two pieces we just cut and choose 
output for the red heart. I can also play around on that layer section and kind of turn off the first layer. I've placed red translucent acrylic into my machine. I'm gonna use the dual cameras to line up my heart exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my cut settings. Once everything's ready to go, I can hit process and let this heart cut out. This is another beautiful cut. The P2 is really meant to cut acrylic. All of these intricate lines are beautiful. There is no melting or searing on the edges. To put this together, we are just gonna use that Gorilla Tape to pull off the masking on both sides, and then we're going to layer our plant stake pieces. There's a couple different ways you can attach acrylic. I like Gorilla Super Glue. But because it's acrylic, you can really see if any of the glue seeps out. So you want to use very, very little. And if you can get an applicator with a precise tip, even better. You can also purchase a 3M adhesive tape that goes on the back of your acrylic that you would use before you cut. And look how cute this plant steak is. The X-Tool P2 is not a new machine. However, if you have seen this machine before, this may look a little different. It was just launched in white. It previously had come in a gray color. Now the color does not affect its performance at all, but if you're like me and you have a craft room that has a certain aesthetic, you may really like the white. So this looks really good with my M1 that's right over there and all the white Ikea furniture that I have just a personal preference. When you are going to purchase a laser, it's kind of nice to be able to choose those colors on your own. So we made a couple of really cool acrylic projects using the X-Tool P2. You saw how quickly that machine cut and it cuts beautifully. There's no charring or melting on the edges. It just does its job and it does it well. If you are ready to make all the acrylic things for your small business, then this is the machine for you. There are deals and promotions going on through Xtool. You can find the current one down in the description. This laser is new to me, so you will find lots more content on the P2 coming soon. So consider subscribing to Creative Ramblings. I am here a couple times a week with something new. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.